Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is regarding Amrita counseling the CSAP process. So, as I've mentioned in my community, the CSAP process for JE main counseling has started. Now, most of you have been asking me the same question, so I thought of making a video. Like you have applied for JE main score as well as A triple score, which will be considered. So, it is clearly mentioned by the Amrita during the counseling video that best of these two will be considered like if you got a good score in JE main it will be considered or if your AEEE rank is better than JE main score it will be considered so if you have are applying this CSAP process for JE main you can even apply it for Amrita AEEE also so the best of these will be considered after 15th August so 15th August will be the last date for updating both these AEEE or JE main or any other entrance exam based uh, by which you want to join Amrita so I think there are four mediums of entering into this college so best of all these four will be considered so there's no need to worry so yeah why I'm posting this video now is that uh, you can see in this JE main website now you can download the result card for all three websites like previously many of you were unable to download the previous result card because it was the best uh, and you were able to download only April once so now they have enabled all three this is the newer link previously this link was different so this is the link i will leave this and this a triple dashboard link in the description so once you apply this let me show you what happens so once you have uploaded the JE main scorecard uh, the dashboard will be changed like this and you can see they have even given eligibility like 10 plus 2 it should be minimum 60 percent and in max physics chemistry it should not be less than 55 percent in each of these individually so you can see here in my dashboard I'm getting two options because I applied in two ways if you applied in multiple ways you can see all these things so I can see this proceed to CSAP process so now you can see the CSAP registration criteria and all these details so once I've clicked on that uh, let me show you all these things so you can see this eligibility like the candidate should be born after this date and I, as I told educational qualification and all these yeah I've read this entire thing I just want to summarize what's in this like uh, the 5000 rupees is the counseling fee so which will be not refunded if you opt out in the midway or if you don't get any of these seats like you have a lot of preferences even one also if you didn't get anything in that then your 5000 will be refunded to you but that is uh, less possible you might or uh, you'll be getting any of these with uh, with or without scholarship so 5000 mostly won't be refunded to you and you uh, if you have applied through multiple ways you have to pay 5000 only once there's no need to pay for all these separately so you can see uh, once I accept and proceed so have you read the instruction now you can see it it's asked for verification of email and mobile number once i've done this i'll have to fill choices and i have to pay 5000 before 15th of august so thank you for watching this video make sure you are subscribed for more updates regarding aw or srm or any university so please like the video